All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. This is another Portola Caria Afra or a Dwarf Jade. I was planning on doing this video last week, but I decided to pick up that port that I kept seeing on my jogging path, and I didn't want to do two ports in the same weekend. I thought about waiting a little while to do it, but I noticed actually during the hurricane, this thing had actually stayed, you know, standing straight up. The wind actually, the substrate used to come up to the lip of the pot here. The wind actually blew all the substrate out of it. I say all the substrate, all the loose off the top. And so what I had actually done was I put it on my, on my lanai, just kind of, it wasn't an emergency repot, but it was going to be just, you know, top off with uh, substrate soon enough. And then I kind of realized that up on the lanai, it wasn't getting any, any extra rain. And they always say before you wire a, a port to you know, let it dry up some so that, it, it, you know, the branches become more flexible. And so last week would have been like six weeks since the hurricane. And I was going to do a video. I was going to go ahead and prune it up and get wire on at least a couple of these primary branches. There's a couple of them that just kind of, you may not even be able to see it on the on the video like that. I actually think it looks good that way too. I thought I always thought of the other way as being the front. It looks pretty decent that way too. But with that straight trunk, it really does have some odd branching with all the leaves on it. It's hard to see. Once I prune it, you guys might be able to see it a little bit better. But I was going to go ahead and prune it and wire it last week. And then I found that, you know, one on the side of the road, or actually I'd seen that one on the side of the road several times, but I finally picked it up and did that video then. Kind of ran out of time and also didn't want to do this one right away. But I decided, you know, since it's now seven weeks since it's had any water, you know, it still should be good and flexible for the wiring. It's a bit of an experiment for me. I know, you know, millions of people uh, wire their ports, but it'll be the first time for me. So I'd like to go ahead and do it and see what happens here. I'm gonna prune it first. If this is the front, then it's got these two back branches and it kind of like from the view from the front there, especially with the leaves off of it now, this back branch is starts out above this one, but then the foliage on it kind of dips down below it. And I'd like to sort that out a little bit better and keep that up higher than this one would be. So I could pull this one down and kind of get that one up a little bit. And then also because I only want to do the primary branches today, I can also just kind of take the wire out to the end of a couple of these pads and get them a little more, some of these are crossing still, and then if this is the front, it's the same problem. I mean, you know, this branch is higher than this one, but the foliage on this one kind of sticks up a little bit compared to that. And then of course, once I get the wire on there, I may see quite a, quite a bit more of these branches that have to go too. 
but I do think I'm going to stick with that as the front and we're going to take a look see what we can do all right so I got the wire on there you can see now this branch is above this one which was actually the main goal I wanted to do I did wire these two up and this was the the pad that I wanted to kind of define a little bit better and I was able to do that and then just got a little movement in this smaller branch here and that was kind of awkward too in a, in a space where it wasn't really going to a negative space so I moved it over this way just a little bit and I wound up I wound up cutting this back a little bit more this side of the apex here is you know kind of I say apex is I want to use this as one of the last branches before the apex actually starts whenever I do you know want to try to make it a little more of a finished looking tree but it was getting a little bit thicker than even the apex is so I cut it back a little more trying to bring it back even shorter than you know the uh, the lower branches too I could even probably go back still just a little bit further with that and then this branch here was sticking way up kind of trying to become the apex and so I just got a little bit of wire on this one and then this one and took them down a little bit and then that was about it I think maybe these could come back a little bit now too but as for the uh, as for the holding water bag so that the branches are flexible I mean 100% correct if I was going to take the time to do all these secondary branches today the secondary branches are super flexible some of these ones that I actually got some wire on I mean I was able to get them to move but they're pretty rigid but I actually think I might have waited a little bit too long I probably should have done this when they were a little bit younger but at this point you know can't turn back time hindsight's always 2020 I can't fix that so I'll just have to see if uh, if I can make do with what I got thanks for watching